Hey everybody, welcome to my video about how to address the issue of not being able to access the AirPods menu on your iPhone. Over the last six months, I've had many people tell me they couldn't access the AirPods menu, especially in my How to Rename Your AirPods video. They even had the issue when the AirPods are connected and active. So I thought I'd make a video to show you how to troubleshoot and hopefully resolve this issue. Before I start listing the troubleshooting steps to resolve the issue, I just want to make it clear that the AirPods menu will not show up unless the AirPods are connected and active. So make sure that they are in your ears and that you are playing a song or listening to a podcast when you try to access the menu. So while you're rocking out to your favorite song, 3D Touch Settings app and tap Bluetooth. Then press the I beside your AirPods to access the AirPods menu. If this isn't working, then you'll need to troubleshoot the issue. First restart your iPhone and try again. Sometimes a simple restart is all it takes. On an iPhone 8 or older, press and hold the power button on the top or the side to shut down the phone. Then count to 10 and press the button again until the phone restarts. On an iPhone 10 or newer, press and hold the side button and the volume up button at the same time until you get the screen that offers you the option to slide the power off. Then press and hold the side button until your iPhone restarts. Now that the iPhone has been restarted, try to access the AirPods menu again by going to the settings app. Then choose Bluetooth, then press the I beside your AirPods with your AirPods in your ears listening to music. If it still doesn't work, then proceed to the next step. The next step is to reset your AirPods. I made a video showing you how to do this in detail, how to reset your AirPods. Check that out for the steps. After you reset the AirPods, you will need to set them up or pair them again with your iPhone. If you're not sure how to do this, check out my video, AirPods User Guide and Tutorial, updated for iOS 12, Part 1, Basic Setup and Overview, to learn how. After the AirPods have been reset and set up with your iPhone again, try to access the AirPods menu while listening to music. Hopefully this resolves the issue. If the issue persists, your next step is to remove and set up again from scratch. When you remove or essentially uninstall your AirPods, I would recommend making sure your iPhone is connected to the internet either through mobile data or Wi-Fi. The whole goal in doing this is not only to uninstall them from your iPhone, but also from iCloud. To remove your AirPods, go to the Bluetooth menu and press the I beside your AirPods and press Forget This Device. Now that they've been uninstalled or removed from your iPhone, I'd recommend waiting about a half hour with your iPhone connected to the internet to make sure it updates iCloud with the removal of the AirPods. After a half hour, go through the pairing or setup process again. If you need help setting them up, then check out my video, AirPods User Guide and Tutorial, updated for iOS 12, Part 1, Basic Setup and Overview, as I indicated in the previous troubleshooting step. Once your AirPods are set up, check to see if the AirPods menu is available. Don't forget to make sure you're wearing them and listening to music when you try it. If the issue still persists, your next step is to make sure your iPhone's version of iOS is up to date. Running older versions of iOS may prohibit the AirPods menu functionality. To do this, open the Settings app on your iPhone and tap General. Then choose Software Update and follow the instructions. This screen will tell you if an update is waiting or if you're up to date. If you had to update iOS, then after the update, again, go to the Bluetooth menu while using the AirPods and press the I beside your AirPods to see if the AirPods menu is available. Hopefully your issue is resolved. If you still can't access the AirPods menu, then check to see if your AirPods firmware is up to date. Apple's latest firmware as of this video is 2A364. To check the version of your AirPods firmware, connect your AirPods to your iPhone and listen to some music. Then go to the Settings app and choose General. Then choose About. Then scroll down and tap AirPods. As you can see, the firmware version is second from the bottom. If you're not on the current version of the firmware, there isn't a way to manually trigger it to happen. All you can do is create a situation where they will automatically. To do this, make sure your iPhone has an active internet connection. Put your AirPods inside the case and plug in and charge your AirPods close to your iPhone, such as sitting them right beside your iPhone while charging. Now, you just hope it happens. I've done this a couple of times with friends' AirPods and found it didn't take more than a half hour for it to happen. So maybe just wait 30 minutes and go in and check to see if it happened. If they don't auto-update under these conditions, perhaps try leaving them overnight this way. If the firmware is still out of date, then you may want to take a trip to the Apple Store for further firmware assistance. If the firmware did update, then put your AirPods in your ears, play some music, and see if the AirPods menu is available. If this still doesn't work, the only thing left is to reset your iPhone. I found some articles and blogs online saying this did help, but I feel this is pretty drastic just to make the AirPods menu work and would try to avoid doing this if possible. If you're down to this step, it's up to you if you want to go straight to the Apple Store for assistance, as it's likely an issue with the AirPods themselves at this point. But if they're out of warranty, or you don't have anything overly important on your iPhone, then I'll show you how to do this. I would strongly recommend backing up your iPhone to your computer before resetting your iPhone, as this can be a big help if something goes wrong. I'll leave a link to the Apple support article describing how to do this in the description below. 
One thing to note with the backup is that I would recommend backing it up to your computer for this, as it's a bit faster and easier to restore from if something goes wrong. To reset your iPhone, run the Settings app, choose General, then Reset, then Reset All Settings and tap Confirm. After the reset, you can set up your AirPods again, as the setup info would have been deleted, and see if you can access the AirPod settings. If this doesn't work, there really isn't anything left you can do. In this case, I would recommend taking a trip to the Apple Store and getting assistance. Hopefully it doesn't have to get to this step. The few times I've helped people who encounter this issue, usually resetting the AirPods or uninstalling and reinstalling them, resolve the issue. I hope this guide helped the people who experienced problems accessing the AirPods menu, so they can now adjust the settings and rename the AirPods. Are there any tricks you've learned to fix this problem that I missed? Please share them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.